With the recent announcement of the Fallout TV show and the release date being revealed to be April 12th of next year, along with the leaks from the set, we can understand in what year of the Fallout timeline the show will take place and maybe even the story or who the main characters will be in the show. We're going to be looking at some pieces of evidence which could lead us to understanding the storyline of the upcoming Fallout TV show. Starting with Bethesda announcing the location of where the show will be taking place, which will be in the Angel's Boneyard, otherwise known as LA. We also got a video from Amazon Prime giving us a little pit boy display, showing us a few important screens, like this one, which appears first while the pit boy boots up. We see the year 2075, which is from pre war America, meaning that maybe the series will start before the bombs drop and we'll maybe see Walton Goggins' character before he's transformed into a ghoul, or maybe a completely different character. The display also shows that the holotape that was found is entitled 101 underscore the underscore end. Could be referencing Vault 101 in the Capital Wasteland, home of the Lone Wanderer. Or they could just be numbers and the words the end, meaning the end of the world. Underneath that is the name of the studio making the Fallout TV show called Kilter Films Incorporated. As soon as the display loads up, we get an image of a Vault Boy standing next to a console with the date of the release above him. But before we continue, a little history lesson on Los Angeles in the Fallout universe. Fifteen years after the Great War, the people of the Los Angeles Vault emerged founding the Boneyard, which brought all sorts of other settlers towards LA, just like before the Great War. These newcomers formed Aditum, which would be a melting pot for gangs like the Blades, the Rippers, and the Regulators, even having the Gunrunners move in. In the 2150s, the Master conquered the Los Angeles Vault, erecting a huge monument called the Cathedral above it. Boneyard and the areas of LA changed a lot, and by 2189 became a state of the NCR, being one of the largest cities, it became a hub for organizations and factions to have their headquarters at. However, it is said that it has still quite a way to go to become a city like it was pre-war. The show was firstly teased in the summer of 2020. It was highly awaited and luckily over the past months we've gotten leaks from the set showing us several locations which look really impressive like the pictures from possibly Vault 33 or other vault facilities. There are photos such as these showing big machines and panels which look like they belong in vaults and such places and then hallways and atriums of an abandoned vault lab or an experiment vault. We see these locations with scientists and armed individuals which look real suspicious. Because of these leaks, I believe that there will be a lot of scenes which are going to be before the Great War. We are finally going to see a lot of things revealed about the dark past of vault and what they were really up to in their facilities. However, this is just not some theory. On IMDb, we will see a certain familiar name of Robert House who is going to be shown in one episode and played by Rafi Silver. Which shows that we will see Mr. House and Robco, which is a powerful corporation and had a lot of power and worked along many other corporations like vault -Tec. Therefore, due to this, it is right to believe we will be getting a lot of new things revealed about pre-war America and Fallout secrets in general. This, however, is only the beginning of what we have. As while I was making this video, Vanity Fair released an article giving information regarding this story, but also pictures never before seen from the show giving us a look at the main protagonists. We see the first main character, Lucy, played by Ella Purnell, who will be a Vault 33 member. We see her exiting and gazing onto the wasteland. Reading the article, we get some information about Fallout, but also how many years after the Great War the series takes place, which is 219 years after the bombs, meaning this show will be set in 2296, nine years after the events of Fallout 4 and 15 years after Fallout New Vegas. This means that we could see the after effects of Fall New Vegas partly as the series does take place in Los Angeles, which would be one of the cities of the new California Republic. However, surprisingly, we haven't seen a lot of the NCR in the photos thus far. In the next photo is also of Lucy, but with her father, Hank, the overseer of Vault 33, played by the amazing Kyle MacLachlan. Underneath the photo, it's written, when a crisis forces Lucy to venture above on a rescue mission. This is very similar to Fallout 1 and Fallout 3, where the Vault Dweller leaves the vault because of something that shakes their world. So, we could see Lucy on a mission to find the Gek, or on a mission to find her father and the Gek, like in Fallout 3. Just like other Vault Dwellers before her, we find out in the article that Lucy's a nice person, but naive, 
who is confronted with the reality of this chaotic and satirical world. Next in order is probably one of the coolest looking photos of a bunch of Brotherhood of Steel members in power armor suits. I will also get to know that we will be getting the backstory behind Voltex logo of the Vault Boy and how he came about, which will probably be a very dark backstory to say the least. Some people have said that the iconography of the Vault Boy pointing his thumb up is actually a way to measure if you're at a safe distance away from a nuclear blast. Next comes a beautiful white shot of a new airship in the Fall Universe called the Kasunen. We know of the existence of these airships from mainly Fallout 4 because of the Priduin and the East Coast Brotherhood. Airships also existed in the Midwestern Brotherhood, as seen in Fallout Tactics. We have never seen one on the West Coast, so it will be interesting to see how they have built this marvelous piece of technology. Also, because if you have played Fall New Vegas, we know of the Western Brotherhood's situation is not good. So it will be interesting to see how the Brotherhood got to this point and what happened to the NCR, who only a couple years prior sent the Brotherhood of Steel into hiding after destroying a large amount of their bunkers. Could the Brotherhood of Steel have taken an offensive and fought back against the NCR, or has something else changed the tides in the Boneyard and on the West Coast altogether? This partly could be why Lucy, the Vault Dweller, decides to exit her vault because of a new power looming on the West. In the next photo, we are introduced to the second main character of Maximus, a squire in the Brotherhood of Steel. Seeing from the photos, the T-60 power armor looks spectacular and the squire outfit is very fitting for the Brotherhood of Steel. Another addition to the show is a junkyard town called Philly, similar to the town of Megaton or Diamond City, which Lucy will probably firstly visit on her journey just like the Lone Wanderer visited Megaton. In this town, we will also get the appearance of the ghoul, played by Wilson Goggins, who I'm most excited to see because we will also be seeing flashbacks of him into pre-war America, so we will be seeing our first looks at how Fallout's America looked prior to the Great War other than what we saw in Fallout 3's DLC of Anchorage, Alaska, and the short beginning of Fallout 4. Although Lucy will probably be the leading character out of the three, I will definitely be looking forward to the ghoul the most because he will be a perfect character to mix comedy and drama with and unveil this complex character and who he was. With the release of the teaser trailer today, we got 2 minutes and 33 seconds of amazingness that was only propelled my excitement. We saw other actors like Michael Emerson from Lost and also Zach Cherry who was recently in Severance. These actors will be a great addition to the cast in the Fallout series. On another note, it also looks like a lot of our beloved creatures from the Fallout universe will be returning like rad roaches and what looks like a Yaogwai. It is still hard to tell much from this teaser trailer, but from what we saw, their environments they will be in will be very diverse from deserts to forests with all sorts of mutated wildlife. This trailer by the way it looks and sounds is magnificent and it only makes me hope that they did justice to Fallout and that as time goes by we will see more. Most importantly this will be the furthest in the Fallout timeline so it will be interesting to see how much has changed on the western coast. Initially I hope this series would be an anthology because it would be very ideal for Fallout's several themes and diverse characters which, which could highlight not only the comic elements but the dramatic ones. Nevertheless, from what we've seen and how Jonathan Nolan talks about it, it makes me really excited for April and for what's about to come for Fallout fans and people who watch TV shows in general, because this is something that would be amazing to see on the silver screen.